Hello there, everybody. Welcome on into today's video. Greatly appreciate you taking time out of your day. Swing on over, check it on out. Um, we are continuing our journey through Red Velvet's album. So we're going to be doing, is it Red? Is it, do they, do they say Red Velvet Festival Day 1? Or is it Revy Festival Day 1? Please let me know. I'll have to ask the Discord. I forgot to ask before I recorded the video. It's all good. We're gonna do festival day one though. That's today's plan. And then tomorrow we'll do the special clips. Um, but we do have men, like what, four or five more albums to go through. So we're, we're gonna be doing a few more albums in between some of the solo stuff. So I'll just give you a heads up on that. If you'd like to see what is going to be coming up on the deep dive feel free take a look at the description there is going to be a link down there to the document that has everything for the deep dive so feel free if you'd like to take a look and see what's coming up and what i've already filmed and what has already been posted um but yeah no we're gonna do uh festival day one six songs on here we have uh zim Zimbalim, which is fantastic my brain loves this song it's so good I listen to it all the time. Uh, Sunny Side Up, Milkshake, Bing Bing, Parade, and LP. Those are the six songs that we're going to be getting to today. Uh, now, all of these are uh, lyric videos. So if there's any mistakes, anything like that, it's not my fault. People are human. So um, that's about it. But I'm excited to see what the vibe is for this album, especially with Zim Zimbalum being the title track of this. I don't know where we're going to be going, <laughs> to be honest. Who knows who I'm just here for the journey at this point in time. I don't know what the vibe will be, but I'm ready. Hopefully you are too. Let's go. Okay. I'm so excited. This sounds great. You did what I was. Let's turn you up. So good though. I just love the beat change. My brain is so happy every time it happens. I don't know why. That's like the bass beat. Ugh. So catchy. I don't know. 
like literally though, there's just something about that song that my brain is just like, yes, every single time I hear it. I just love the little beat changes that they have in the song. Cause we have you you have the more of the EDM house beat, which I love. We, then it adds that little extra bassy beat. Then you have the slowdown, like the softer side, and then we ramp back up. It's just so good. <laughs> I the song is the lyrics weird <laughs> just flat out but the beat is just so good and it's so catchy uh, for, at least for me i don't know about you all i know that there's like two sides people either love this song or they do not like this song i am a lover of this song 1010 percent um it's just one of those cannot so good Okay, Joyce. Ooh, ramping. Moonshine. Ooh. Yes, Joy. I just love that tone from her so much. Ooh, so be. Lips are dry. What is happening? like a little vibe on this song though let's go Wendy What a different vibe from Zim Zim Alum. <laughs> completely different. I love this little bass in the background, though. Who's whispering in my ear? Who's whispering in my ear? on the end of that note there, go ahead. Yes. What in the heck? Yeah, this, I have no idea what this, the vibe of this album is going to be like. <laughs> we just went two different directions here. We have like the house EDM of Zim Zibalum, and then we have Sunny Side Up, which is this like kind of like chill art. I wouldn't even say art, maybe a little RB vibe, but just has that like little bass beat in the background. 
And their vocals, everybody just had that little bit of a lower tone. Oh, uh, it's so good. <laughs> These songs are going to be the end of me. I just know it. Just know it. That was great. Swoopy had the most interesting. Who was whispering? Who was like whispering? I want to say it was Irene. I don't know for sure, though. I think it was. Because that, no. Mm -mm. I like it like milkshake. <laughs> I like like milkshake. What I love about them is that I just never know what the hell I'm going to get in any of the albums whatsoever at this point in time. I learned real quick in this deep dive to never expect anything because it's probably going to be wrong. <laughs> I, I. In my brain, just hearing the title track, you know, this is like Sim Simulum. Maybe we're going to get more of a house edm album potentially but we have not i'm over here like these are not even remotely close um though i really think yuri has come such a long way with her rap that little speed rap in there just a little bit faster oh my word it was so good she's like improved so much um because i know like in the earlier albums it was 
usually just Irene, Yuri, and a little of Joy doing the rap uh, pieces. But Yuri's taking on a little bit of a bigger role with the rap, and I just love to see it. Her little rap is so good. I love it. Uh, this, oh my word. What is the, I don't even know what's going to happen here in the rest of this album. Does I mean, just want to whisper in my ear all the time? What is this? Uh, Wendy. Ooh, I love their harmony. You can never expect anything at this point in time. It's just you just have to enjoy the ride, at, like literally. I thoroughly enjoyed all of the different harmonies that we had in this song. We got some great little combos in there. The Yuri Wendy combo was fantastic. Uh, you had a little bit of Wendy Irene, and of course the the Irene and Sulgi, always good. The Joy and Sulgi, they just had some great little harmony combos. It was usually it's you'll hear a couple in some of these songs, or they're all harmonizing. So it was really nice to actually have a song where they were doing little different harmonies with just a duo pair. That was that was nice. I really enjoyed that. I might do I have a do I have a live of this? I can't remember if I do or not. I uh, if I if there is, I'll make sure it's on there. I, I have to I wanna hear it live. So bad. Yeah. 
This beat is wild. Like, what is happening? is this beat it has like a little retro vibe right like a, a retro gaming vibe and then do you have like the bell my brain i don't know if my brain handles that well we'll see i might have to listen to it again the song like the vocals in it are great i'm just the beat my brain is just like mm, wait a second <laughs> I don't know if it was the bell or not, because it was only in one ear and maybe that's what was bothering me. But what were the vocals in this? I feel like it was just like they they sp sped it up a little bit. Their vocals, not like not digitally, but I think they just sung faster. So Wendy was hitting some notes there once again, as usual. Great. But I, I'm going to I think I have a live of this. Maybe the live version. Will be an interesting experience. I'm going to have to listen to that song a couple more times, though. See if my brain actually enjoys it or not. I'm not quite sure yet. Out of this whole list so far, that's the one I'm like, hmm, I don't know yet. Um, I might have to listen to you a couple of times. Which is odd because people thought it was going to be some symbolism. But uh, I don't know. It's just like the bell was only in like one ear. Maybe that's what it was getting to me. I never switched to this side, at least in my headphones. Maybe if I listen to it with my AirPods, maybe it'll be different. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. 
There's a jazzy feel to it, this. Ooh, the harmony on this, yes. to that lower register of hers. It's so good. My ears it would ooh, 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 okay. Yes. It's a saxophone, right? So good. Ooh, what an interesting end to the song. Festival day one? It really gave me a festival vibe. What it what? What would you even classify that as? A a jazzy pop song? Wait. I don't mm. I love having the I'm pretty sure it was a saxophone. Pretty sure. Not 100 percent Pretty sure. Um I absolutely love their harmony in this though. Y'all sound fantastic. I mean, their harmonies always sound fantastic, but I don't know. There was just something about this song with the beat. Um, it just sounded so good. What an album. Hmm. Oh, boy. Okay. Sunny Side Up was great. Milkshake, great. Bling, bling. I'm going to have to listen to Parade again. I think I have. I think I have it. Actually, I think I have LP on the list, too. I think I have most of the songs on on the list, except for one. I'll have to look and see. I'm not sure if I have a sunny side up version. We will find out. <laughs> you got I'll find out in like 10 minutes. You guys will find out tomorrow. Um oh hi all. See you coming on in the video's over. Sorry. Great album. I cannot wait for day two. We're gonna be, of course, going into Sulgi, but I think we're gonna be mixing in some more albums here. Um, so we won't be going too too long without doing the next album um because we do have quite a few albums to still get through um what we have still four or five four or five right i think my brain is remembering correctly um <clears throat> but tomorrow will be the special clips for this album and then uh we'll probably do i think i'm gonna do a, another little segment of uh red velvet and a mess before we jump into Sulgi. Um, I think that will be a, a great, interesting transition from going that to like the danger zone that is potential um, of Sugli, Sugli's uh, solo stuff. So that's what's on the dock for the rest of the weekend slash beginning of the week. 
So thank you guys for joining in. Um, really enjoyed the album. Like I said, I'm going to have to listen to Parade again. It just might have been that bell. But if I have a live version, maybe it'll be a in, in more interesting experience. But thank you. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will catch you on that next one. Later. <laughs>